a wild kingdom out here. Animals every which way you look. But we're not in Africa. Or the jungles of South America either. This is the Oakland Zoo in Northern California. And it's home to more than 650 animals of all shapes, makes, and sizes. These are the North American river otters. It's also where we find Gabby, Ponce, and Kelsey Peterson. We have um, four male alligators. Yeah, to see if you can find them all. They're volunteers with the zoo's Teen Wild Guide program, headed up by Melinda Seaver. It's really important to us here at the zoo that the zoo can be a place where not only small children can come and learn, but also teenagers and young adults can come and they can become involved in conservation and involved in animal awareness as well. Ponce and Peterson are old timers here. As guides, they manage stations, help zookeepers, and more. My job is to educate the public um, in relation to animals and conservation. I love learning more and as much as I can take in, and I also just love teaching people. There are only two types of alligators in the world, which are American alligators and Chinese alligators. They also talk about ways to protect wildlife, too. Try not to litter, or don't litter at all, actually, because that gets into the ocean sometimes. It gets into different environments, and that's um, unhealthy for the animals. Yay! Part of their job? Giving zoogoers a call to action. So the coin counts as 25 cents, and you get to come choose which animal you like to help out today. You can help out the African elephants who live in Kenya, the chimpanzees who live in Uganda, or you can help out the condors who live here in California. Yay! And did we mention they also get to travel? We do conservation trips every year where we go to visit places where the zoo has a conservation fund that we support. Myself and 17 others, uh, we went to Uganda and Rwanda in East Africa, and um, we visited all the conservation projects that the zoo supports, and I fell in love with everything. <laughs> right now, time for us to do some traveling of our own, and that's to Monkeyville. We're headed into the squirrel monkey exhibit. Now, I don't know what to expect, but I do know that I have to wear one of these. All right, let's go. Whoa. It takes just seconds to realize that in here, there's never a dull moment. And there's a lot going on. They're kind of all over the place. <laughs> Zookeeper Chelsea Williams knows there's no such thing as quiet time here either. And they're very social animals, so they make lots of different noises. Where are they found around the world? Um, the squirrel monkeys are found in the rainforest of South America. What type of food do squirrel monkeys eat? A wide variety of fruits and vegetables. We also feed them nuts and grains. We'll give them cereals, and we also give them bugs. Oh. <laughs> Another reason they're so happy because zookeepers keep them that way. It's something they call animal enrichment. The reason that enrichment is so important is to make their lives interesting um, because they're living in captivity and they wouldn't have to deal with the normal problems that squirrel monkeys in the wild would have to deal with. So what type of enrichment do you have planned for them today? What we have for them today are some toilet paper rolls that we've strung on string and we've stuffed with lots of good treats. So we can hang those up all over the exhibit. All right, let's get started, what do you say? Sounds good. <laughs> Okay, time for me to give it a try. Here we go. Just tie it on? Yep, just tie it on. Double knot? Yes, please. Well, gotta say, these guys look pretty entertained. And soon, we understand what has the baboons so happy, too. Baboons get similar types of enrichment. Um, we're going to do a leaf pile with some hidden treats, some jello cups. We are going to also do some um, different PVC containers that the baboons have to open in order to get some really tasty cereal treats. So from keeping animals happy and healthy, to educating the public and learning more themselves, teen guides at the zoo are becoming stronger advocates for wildlife every day. I think it's really important to try to keep animals safe because it's not really nice to hear about them getting hurt in the wild or in captivity and they need to be safe and looked after also. Seaver says getting youth excited and involved is what it's all about. Teens definitely have a different type of energy in the zoo. They're really committed, they're really wanting to work on projects and look towards their future. I consider myself more conscious of the earth and us, we as humans, um, it's our job to respect it. They hope to pass this respect onto us all. Thank you, good job.